Hi, my name is Cameron Winters, coming to you today on behalf of my friends at Gig Performer. I'm going to go over the top 10 reasons you should build your digital guitar rig in Gig Performer. If you don't already know, Gig Performer is a super powerful plugin host for Mac and Windows. It gives you complete control over your live rig. Whether you're coming from a sleek pedal board and vintage tube amps, or if you're already in the digital world, there's like a million reasons uh, to make the switch to Gig Performer, but that video would be really, really long. So here's 10. And number one, we have the wiring view. Wiring View allows you to quickly and easily build your rig as simple or as complex as you want. You can easily add your favorite effect plugins, uh, your favorite amp sims, and just like that, you are running. Uh, I think this could be great for you analog people making the switch to digital. Uh, using a virtual cable should probably be intuitive for you. And for you digital people, uh, I think you're going to realize how limited you've been by channel strips. For instance, if I want to split this into a stereo guitar rig with two separate amps, uh, I can do that like that easily. And maybe for some reason I just want that flanger only on the uh, left amp. It's that easy. Reason number two, instant sounds. If you've ever tried building a digital guitar rig uh, in the past, especially in a DAW, you know how inconvenient and slow it can be. DAWs are designed for recording and not live performance or sound design. And DAWs that even have live performance in mind aren't necessarily thinking of guitarists. Uh, Kick Performer is different. Uh, for instance, you ever notice if you're in your DAW and you're toggling a plug in or on or off, you'll get popping and clicking noises as it turns on and off? Imagine you're playing live and you go to turn your effect on, you get a huge pop through the PA. Now I'm Gig Performer. Gig Performer can turn your effects on and off, no pops or clicks. Just like that. Uh, that's just turning on one kind of subtle effect though. What if I want to change to a drastically different sound? Just like that, no pops or clicks. What's cool as that is you can't just be clicking on your laptop while you're performing, which brings us to number three, controlling Gig Performer. And mainly its amazing ability allow you to build your own custom control panel and control it with MIDI, OSC, and now even your stream deck. Uh, look how easy this is, watch. I'm gonna jump to the panels view here and I'm just gonna go drag a knob and I'm gonna assign it to this gain plugin and I'm gonna assign that knob to my MIDI controller and within seconds, I'm controlling my rig. I mean, how, how long did that take? Here, let's do it again. Let's uh, control my flanger. I'm gonna go to flanger, let's say I'm gonna control the depth. I'm gonna assign it to another knob on my controller here. And again, controlling my effects that quickly and easily with my custom control panel. But if you wanna be cool, you wanna be really, really cool, you can go to the set list view and you can pre-program settings throughout your song. So let's say, you know, I got song one and song two here. Uh, you know, during the ambient intro, let's say, you know, this is the setting I want and then I'm gonna go to the chorus here. And during the chorus, I want the volume to go down. I wanna turn the flange all the way up, right? And now with one button, I can switch multiple parameters instantly. Now with all our favorite parameters quickly accessible, let's get into number four, sound design. With all our most used controls now at our fingertips, we don't have to filter through junk anymore. For live use, this is a necessity. You can't spend your time on stage opening plugins and going to sub pages and then find the control you need and then edit it. I think that's obvious, but maybe less obvious is how it will help your creativity. I don't know about you, but I get distracted super easy. If I'm in the zone, the last thing I need to try and navigate around a bunch of plugins and find what I'm looking for. The Key Performance Panels view, I have just the parameters I need laid out in a way that makes sense to me and not the person that designed the software. And look at this, Gig Performer is so cool. I can, uh, I don't even need to decide how to s set my settings. They have a thing, it's called the Probabilistic Sound Designer. And for any plugin, you can just choose a couple parameters and you can randomize them. So here's my flanger sound. And let's just randomize that a bit. Oh, that's pretty funky. And just like that, one click, we're getting crazy sounds that I, I would have never gotten on my own. Reason number five, it's not just for guitar. This is a big reason why I personally made the switch. It's a multi-instrument if you want it to be. With all these great features, why use it on only just guitar? I personally, I use this as my guitar rig, bass rig, and my synthesizer rig 
all at once. So when I'm here in the studio writing, uh, I can instantly, with just one click, switch my pedal board from my guitar pedal board to my bass pedal board, and I have all my synthesizers accessible at any time. And I'm not a singer, but uh, I'm sure a lot of you out there are singers, and you know, uh, using the set list feature, you could change your guitar preset and your vocal preset at the same time. So, so when, when you, you get, get to, to the, the chorus, chorus and, and you need to pitch, pitch up your, your voice, voice for, for some, some reason, reason, you can. Reason number six, automation. The cool thing with Gig Performer is you can automate just about anything you think of. Uh, you can trigger backing tracks with this built-in audio file player. Um, you can sync it to your favorite DAW using Ableton Link, so you can sync the tempo. You know, if you're playing live with Ableton, maybe you can sync it to Ableton. Um, I'm even starting to play around with triggering my lights uh, by sending MIDI out of Gig Performer into my lighting console. Uh, so you know, when I hit the button for the chorus, you know, the lights change at the same time. Uh, and when I'm playing live, I even like to use a pitch shifting plugin on my guitar so I don't have to change guitars. And Gig Performer can even transform your incoming MIDI. You can pitch shift your keyboard if you want. So imagine if you're like a cover band, uh, you could use your favorite guitar for the whole set. That's It's the beauty of digital. Number seven, multi-track recording. If you want to multi-track your entire rig, you can do that with one click. Uh, maybe you want to record your guitar, but also record the DI signal so you can reamp it later. That's one click. Uh, record your live performance with your vocals and your guitar and your synth uh, all completely isolated. This is one of those killer features I can't live without. When we're here in the studio writing with Fesser, we leave every writing session with multi-track recordings of what we're working on. Uh, it's as easy as just going to the recorder and telling it what to record. Uh, there's, it's built in, uh, there's no plugins to add, there's nothing to route, you just say, hey, record this. And you can even uh, program it to a MIDI button if you want. So you can just click a button on your keyboard and one click, multi-track record, killer feature. Reason eight, and this is what I was first looking for that made me find Gig Performer. Keep your rig separate from your DAW. DAWs are designed for recording and not to be your guitar rig. Uh, I'm sure most of you are recording your guitar by recording your dry signal into your DAW and then you know placing your effects plugins on top of that. Which seems fine, but this becomes an issue pretty quick. Uh, for instance, let's say I'm working on this song and I have this distorted guitar sound, right? Uh, and let's say I want to layer it with a clean guitar sound. I'm going to overdub it, right? So uh, I make another track here in Logic, and I place another plug in here with my clean sound. And um, just like that, I've doubled my CPU usage by just adding one track, because now I have two instances of this plugin running. Um, there's all sorts of ways to get around so you can freeze tracks and you can bounce it. That's all super annoying and gets away from the creative process. Uh, which is why I'm super excited to show you guys a new feature coming soon to Gig Performer. Um, it's called the GP Relayer. And what this allows me to do is take multiple audio signals coming out of Gig Performer and route it directly into my DAW. This allows me to continue to build and change my guitar rig in Gig Performer and easily record into my DAW like I was in a studio with my pedal board and mic'd up speaker cabinet, all while saving on CPU usage. And with the GP Relayer, you can even route audio from your DAW back into Gig Performer and have it act like a mobile outboard gear rack. Uh, speaking of. Number nine, portability. Everything I've mentioned can be done with gear that can fit into your backpack. Uh, throw a small interface in there and a small little MIDI keyboard and you're ready to join a jam or jump onto a gig. Just, you know, plug into the PA and you're ready to go. Uh, and you don't need to worry about, you know, choosing between a mobile rig and a studio rig or jumping between the two. You can build just one rig and using Gig Performer's built-in rig manager, you can map uh, your controls from one MIDI controller to another, so you can seamlessly go from your studio to recording in the park. And finally, a 10, and this is just for my fellow nerds, uh, if that's not enough for you, if there's some unusual use case you're going for, if there's some feature that no other program can provide you, there's GP script. That is Gig Performer script. That's right, you can program Gig Performer however you want. 
They have a really in-depth, full API documentation. Uh, it's a rabbit hole, that's all I'll say. If you can think it, you can do it. Um, if you go onto their website, gigperformer.com, uh, and you go to their community forum, there's all sorts of great examples on there. And while you're there, you should just grab the 14-day trial. Uh, it is unrestricted, completely free uh, for 14 days. Try everything I've showed you, and I promise you're going to make the switch and not look back. Have fun.